I started doing hair in 2012. I started because I did the big chop and I wasn't just comfortable with my hair yet. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna try out some protective styles. Just give it a try. And that's how I started and I loved it. The big chop is whenever you cut off your perm ends and you just commence your natural hair journey. Other people saw my hair and was like, who did your hair? I like it. And I was like, I do it myself. And they were like, do you do other people's? And I'm like, no, I don't. But they were like, you should. So that's how I started doing other people's hair. Just really other people liked my hair and wanted theirs to be done too. I started my natural hair journey in 2012. And I just think it's a beautiful thing, especially now. Like more people are on board with it. In the beginning, not so many, but now it's just great to see so many natural people of color just embracing their natural and enjoying this type of kinky freedom, I like to call it. Everyone around me, they know like, if I see you with permed hair, I'm gonna like try to encourage you, like embrace that beauty you have, you got it. So you don't have to, you know, assimilate and have that straight hair. If you don't want that, don't do it. You really learn a lot about yourself. You learn about a lot about your hair, and you feel great about it. It's, it's you won't understand it until you do it. <laughs> hair to me is art. Every time I do someone's hair, I look at it. I, I look at their hair, and I treat everyone's hair differently and create something different with each person. <laughs> I'm doing really well, and it's a blessing. It really is. And it gets time consuming, but it's all about me prioritizing, making sure my schoolwork is done and then doing hair, because a lot of times, hair comes first. With school, I should put, you know, above hair, but most of the time, I'm more worried about, like, I need to get my work done, like my do hair and do all that first. But I'm getting better at it, um, juggling school and doing the House of Jazz, so I'm getting better at it. There isn't enough black representation, and having a black-owned business and catering to other black people is very important. There isn't enough natural hair salons out there, so being able to, you know, start up my business and making sure all the black ladies out there have beautiful hair. That's the goal. Definitely plan on continuing doing hair and opening up an actual house of jazz establishment. That's the goal.